Welcome back to our series. I'm documenting the delivery of a brand new XS4 in catamaran from France to Tahiti with Jean-Pierre, the owner, and two young sailors from Tahiti, Alexi and Tom. The first part was 700 miles to Portugal in very calm weather, where we caught one of the biggest tuna I've ever seen. We do a little bit of uh, fun and tourism uh, in Portugal, discovering Cascais and Lisboa. And then we are joined by my daughter Ariane, who's an accomplished sailor. We go to the fresh fruit market in Cascais to provision for the trip. And then it's time to get ready as we expect some uh, big uh, wind going downwind to the Canary Islands. So we'll have to prepare the boat. Before leaving for the Canaries, we do a complete uh, mast and rig check. We add an extra protective uh, sheave on the mainsail halyard at the top of it. Tom creates some nice uh, textile shackles that are going to be very useful. We also reinforce the reef line with a safety line uh, and we reinforce the mainsail outhaul. During our first 700 miles we didn't break anything on the boat so uh, we do this uh, reinforcement as good practice before crossing an ocean in very strong winds. So really, really fast around uh, 9 knots uh, in uh, 18 knots of true wind with one reef. Um, the season is pretty chaotic. Hopefully, it's gonna it's gonna decrease a bit uh, during the night. The aim of the game is really gonna be to avoid all the cargo ship because we are close to Gibraltar, so we are going to have to cross the um, cargo shipping lanes. So the Code Zero electric furler, you've got this small uh, remote control. So it, uh, it's very easy to use because you need one hand for the remote control and the other hand for your ship, uh, letting go if you're uh, furling it in or if you're unfurling. Um, with the electric winch, you just need to, uh, to press the button and you basically just need to coordinate the speed of your two hands. Uh, but that's making it super easy to use a, a code zero. So definitely um, something I recommend uh, if you're sailing short-handed. To the east, near the Moroccan coast, the wind is going to be very high, so we're going to try to stay a little bit more to the west and, uh, and try to get in the wind, but not too much wind. That's the game plan. So at the helm, the XS-40 feels really, really fun. Like you can see, she wants to play with the waves, to surf, and you really get a, a direct feeling from the rudders. They are just underneath the, the steering system with a Dynema cable. Uh, she feels a little bit heavier than the XS11 boat. I think it's because she's 25% uh, or 30% longer and with a more powerful rig. Um, but still, so much fun. I mean, really, uh, a boat uh, you want to sail uh, in the trade wind with the with the downwind sails, taking big surf. It's going to be real fun. There's always a, a lot of uh, question about the the helm position being too exposed. Uh, but frankly, here you don't. I mean, you don't get well at all from the waves. Uh, and with the Bimini, you're uh, quite sheltered. Uh, so right now, I've got it in the open position. I've got the, the top and one side which I can uh, fold, up, fold up again also but uh, you can also close the front and the back which we did at the beginning of the trip when it was uh, really cold um, and that way you're fully protected but you retain the view on the rigging um, on the bows so, so you get that uh, feeling of uh, proper sailing boat like a monohull uh, but you've got the protection of the, of the Bimini, so uh, I think that's a good uh, add-on. The sun is rising behind me, there's big waves, we're making big surf, it's blowing uh, 25 to 30 knots, uh, quite exciting. And uh, we're going to have breakfast and when we do a jive, uh, we'll have to think carefully about how we, we do it with these waves. Uh, but it should all go well and then it will 
be a direct attack to the Canary Island. So see you soon. <laughs> we have a fair bit of uh, Genoa to make sure it's not flapping uh, and then we center the main cell traveler um, and once it's done and we've uh, tightened the sheet I can uh, jive the boat uh, manually uh, the helm then we bring uh, the boom barber hauler on the other side and that way we're going to be able to uh, trim the mainsail perfectly on the other side and trim the jib as well. When going downwind, especially with uh, big waves, I like to uh, use a barber hauler from the Genoa. Uh, it prevents it from uh, going from one side to the next. So after the jibe, we install it uh, on the other tack and that way we've got a perfect control on the head cell. The XS14 has a very uh, large uh, galley, so it's very practical for cooking. And with the Thermomix, one of the things uh, Jean-Pierre uh, likes to do is uh, to make bread. So he's uh, teaching Ariane how to make a nice bread loaf at sea. The next morning the wind has uh, decreased a lot so we are able to uh, set the code zero up again uh, to keep our fast pace uh, down to the Canaries. Okay, c'est bon.
with uh, one uh, Garmin uh, chart plotter uh, on each side of the boat makes it very easy uh, to see the weather condition, uh, the boat speed uh, as well as uh, routing. Uh, it's very convenient to steer the boat from both sides. As the wind is uh, decreasing even more and coming more from more back, we are going to swap the plot zero for the asymmetrical spinnaker. Uh, it's got a sock, so it's uh, easy to uh, use. Um, so we first furl the code zero. We uh, lower the code zero because we are going to use uh, the same uh, halyard. We attach the sheets to the clue, we attach the tack on the bow sprit, uh, we attach the halyard and then we can uh, hoist uh, the spinnaker sock all the way up. And then we, we hoist the sock up and uh, the spinnaker is uh, just going to fly. Wow. Uh, the VX is falling, but it's been a very good, she handles it very well. She goes fast, but she's uh, always easy to maneuver. Uh, great feelings, uh, it's, a, it's a really fun boat, but we, but we love, like, you get this uh, sailing feeling, but at the same time, it's, uh, it's easy, uh, it's friendly. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the next stage, it's going to be crossing to uh, the Caribbean. See you soon for the next time.